to the Choir Directors Academy. I'm your host, Angela Elaine. So glad to be here. Happy New Year to everyone. Good to see you. You have just heard, which one was this, God's Tomorrow? Praise, praise the Lord, ye heavens adore him. He's been playing so many different things, so I got kind of confused. Sorry about that. But this is instrumentalist brother Aaron Foster. Everybody, he's a phenomenal organist, hymnologist. Um, he's a very humble person, and I'm glad that he accepted the invitation to play some hymns for us on tonight. Thank you to all of us, all of you joining us. Let me just do a quick shout out. My mama's here. This is Gary Walter Jones, Shanita Manning. Um, Craig is out there. Stephanie, Pam, um, Zier, uh, Pastor Bernadine Harvin, um, and my friend Don Mayberry. I'm trying to remember who he, who he was. But anyway, I'm so glad. Like and share. Like and share, and we can get this out. This is only the beginning. Uh, we're going to have a hymnathon and we're going to bring in different organists that are uh, phenomenal when it comes to playing hymns. And I'm honored that he accepted on tonight. And I already got a couple of uh, notes out there. I got a couple of people that I can call on. So like and share this video, you all, and get it out because we need to revive the hymns. They are not um, played and revered and sung like they used to be when most of us were younger. But it's good to see somebody that is on the younger side, younger than me, um, has an interest in him and is willing to play them. So like and share this video and get it out. This is our first one of the year. We're kicking off the new year, 2020, a new decade, and we're looking for great things. And um, I'm just glad to be here. I mean, he kind of got me stirred up the way he was playing. I told him, listen, mama, I told him that he's not supposed to get happy while he's here, but she told me, He's in redeemed. He can get at me. So I'm feeling it. And uh, so I hope I get through all of these hymns. I'm really going to try to do this. But he's... <laughs> My mother said, play, young man. God, to God be the glory. She loves it. Okay. So I'm, we're going to try to get through all of this. Oh, tonight, but it sounded real good. I'm getting stirred up. Don't take much of my house. To get started up. Okay. All right, brother Aaron. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> everybody said, Mama said, you are. I'm getting stirred up. She know me. I'm getting stirred up. Anyway, I'm not here to be a missionary. I'm here to host this, and we're going to get stopped. Stop playing so we can get to this. <laughs> All right, but we need to learn a little bit about our. Uh, <laughs> Watch Jones said, I love to see Aaron get happy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we want to learn a little bit about him before we get into the hymns. I got a list, and I, um, hey, Kashan and Calvin Blissett is watching. I, get, I gave him the list of what you all gave me. We're going to try to get through most of them. If not, um, he can come back at a later date, and then some of the other musicians can tackle it as well. Um, but we do, I do like to uh, share about a person's background. Because a lot of times people think that you just like up and start playing, you know. And there's really, most of the time, there is a history behind people. And you have heard my history and various people that come on this uh, show, you've heard about them. So we want to just find out just a little bit about him. Um, I know his brother. I didn't realize that was his brother, but I know his brother, Raquan. But uh, we want to learn a little bit about brother Aaron. We know about Raquan. So, <laughs> anyway, how did you get started in the music ministry? Um, that's a good question. Um, my grandfather on my dad's side used to sit me at the piano, um, got me started. He said that was the only way to get me to be quiet. And then um, my mom's side, the church here side, catered to that. Uh, they were more of the singing type. And then my grandfather on my mom's side was my pastor. So. You know, preacher's kids, you guys, you gotta you're going to do, gonna do something. If you don't play something, you're going to learn how to preach or you're going to know how to do something in the church. Exactly. So who, were there people that you kind of follow? Um, Eldred Buster Robinson, God rest his soul. Elder Robert Lee Davis. Um, uh, Twinkie Clark, mm -hmm. Albernita Twinkie Clark. Aaron Williams. Um. Elder Eric Thomas, 
Um, That's Greater Harvest. Mm -hmm, from Greater Harvest mm -hmm. when he used to play uh, on the broadcast before they moved on State Street. Um, there was another person, T. Lynn Smith, and the guy, I can't, I don't know his name, but he used to, I don't know if he still does, play for Reed Temple when they were out here in Chicago and came on the radio on 106.3 way back Way in back day. in the day, yeah. I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember the name. Man, he crazy. That's where I got all that aggressiveness from. <laughs> and you kind of need that. How, so those are the people that kind of, so you would say that you were a mix of all of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you throw throwing your own style in mm -hmm. there. You went, uh, what, did you, what type of music school did you go to? Just a regular one just or conservatory a, or? No, just a regular piano organ shop. Took organ lessons there to read. And got introduced to classical music there, and then, oh, okay. then um, further took a break from that, and then started going to Chicago to uh, Oak Park to learn how to play, um, be more efficient or playing the pipe organ, because okay. I was starting to get assignments and people were calling me, "Can you play at a mass?" And I'm like, "I could read, but uh, so I had to get more introduced." I grew up listening to that music anyway. Right, and if I wish I could have allowed the camera to see, he was playing. The pedal with both feet, which gave it a more massive sound. You know, when we we're in church, we basically play with the one with the right leg or whatever. But he was doing both feet. I couldn't turn the camera around and let you see <laughs> what he was doing. I mean, it was it's phenomenal. I think it's phenomenal. Anyway, I mean, I'm a musician, but I think it's a grandstand anyway to see people how we maneuver between different limbs and you're paying attention to everything going around. But to see somebody play the pedal with both feet. That was remarkable. That was remarkable. What type of um, gospel music do you enjoy playing the most? You know, we got the hymns, we got the churchy, you know, pray, you know, the regular church, old-fashioned church. God is getting us ready for that great day. We got praise and worship now. Uh, okay, the CCM. CCM. We got all kinds. So, what is your favorite, or do you have a favorite? I like. Well, I like them all. Okay. I really like them all, and it depends on on what the flow is. But I have a um, I have a a good taste for respectfully for each genre of mu gospel music, each sector of gospel music, like southern gospel, and then we have contemporary Christian, and then you have contemporary gospel, and then mm -hmm. you have um, spirituals, and then you have sacred spirituals, and then you have sacred hymns, and all of it, you know, is derived. From the same, from one place to get go back to one place. So um, I like them all. Maybe I like them all. What is the? And I'm gonna just I'm gonna ask this question uh, because we have a lot of choir directors watching, and it always comes up about musicians. You know, getting along with musicians and this is you know we can't see eye to eye and musicians get you know whatever. Um, what is the most difficult part? Just you know, kind of encapsulate it because we want to get into get into what we got you here for to play the music. But I also just wanted them to see another side of you. So, what is the most difficult part of being a musician, like for a choir or for just in general? But you know, bodies being choir directors for a choir. What is the most difficult part? I would think yeah. you would think, not me. I mean, I have an assumption because I am a musician and a choir director, but what would you think since your focus was primarily on the music? The different personalities um, and um, the lack of the, 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 the lack of music, music education, the vernacular that is, you know, being tossed around from the across the pulpit to the musician, especially if it's an educated musician, you're throwing them off when you try to say something, to try to sound educated when you... We don't understand. You don't know, but well, I, so I'd rather, that, that would be my biggest pet peeve. I would rather for a person to describe what they're, you know, what they're what trying they to want explain. Spray. Yeah. Don't tell me a diminished chord when you, when you clearly want the major chord. That's pretty much far that's yeah it that, is that the fifth is up a half right. step that's not a i mean that's an augmented chord that that the, the sixth and then you got the minor third so see but see now you don't know that though right you cut because you're telling me to play something so um that and then just just the whole um the integrity the 
and people and having a flex, uh, having a, a mindset to be have integrity to be flexible to deal with each other because everybody is not the same. No, all directors are not the same. Mm -hmm. All of them are not the same. Now we're gonna get to these hymns because that, we got a lot of people coming on and that's what they want to hear you do. So we're gonna start with uh, like "Tis So Sweet" to trust in Jesus. He got he got them tagged, y'all. So. He can go to them and then we're going to start with that one. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Brown, I know you out there. 
Yes, sir. He's doing a great job. Hey, Selma. Uh, Scott, one of your other friends, Scott Skizzle. He said, play, sir. I think one of your other cousins, Marty Long, was out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you get it? I'll hold it.
Okay, Look, let's move on. Come on, I gotta go because I feel a praise. I feel a praise. I feel a praise. I am dying. I am dying. God help me, Jesus. Oh, y'all. <laughs> I am dying. My goodness. I am enjoying him. Thank you for sharing and tagging people. And thank you all so very much. This is just awesome. This is just awesome. Let me hold these pages. I can't read all the comments because they got to hold the book for them. But thank you all so much. Keep liking and sharing and letting everybody know. Is it holding? Okay, good. Woo, my hands are free. Yes, Pastor Lazarus Jones is watching. Oh, wow. He's trying to play like you, Pastor Lazarus. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's crazy. I'm scared. Play. <laughs>
message you just did. I'm trying to get to the ones at the cross. At the cross? At the cross. Scott, I'm going to try to get to that. I want to get to the ones that we uh, had on the list first. We're going to try.
you, I'm done. I'm done already. I'm done. Uh, Woo! What else? Oh, uh, your state minister of music said, what did she say? She said she wanted you to play Standing on the Promises. <laughs>
<laughs> you see, I had to. <laughs> you tell me the. Uh, we'll catch it. Your weeks and peace. Take us out.